we made a PR. But we also yeah. saw, we also discussed it uh, on Thursday during a trip. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, the PR was not so good, apparently, but uh, it was very useful for me to to, to check uh, um, things, aspects that I didn't uh, know. Um, so uh, the idea of uh, this PR, let me share my screen. Uh, it's uh, to to provide uh, um, a localized version of taxonomies of uh, for its uh, content. So um, Dean has made, I think Dean uh, has made a lot of work on localizing taxonomies. Um, so if I go here. I have categories, which is a taxonomy, and categories Greek, the Greek one, and uh, each of them has uh, some terms, English term, and the Greek taxonomy has the Greek terms. Um, unfortunately, as for now, we cannot have uh, a way to to connect terms between different uh, languages. But uh, one problem that we had is that uh, when we are going to content items that has taxonomies, let's say blog post, uh, in the editor, uh, we had to choose uh, one taxonomy. So we have categories, or categories Greek or, or tags. So um, as for now, we had to choose uh, two fields, one for categories and one for the localized version of Greek. And uh, the editor will uh, end it uh, showing up uh, two categories. Uh, what I have uh, done or tried try, try to do is that I added this uh, option here localized and uh, the editor when someone wants to create uh, a new blog post uh, will only show uh, the same cultural terms. So if I go here, uh, no, here and I have this blog post that is uh, English version click edit. If the taxonomy is localized, you see the English terms, the English taxonomy. The tags are not localized, so uh, it's always there. And if we go to the Greek version, uh, then you can see with the same title, the Greek terms and the tags will remain uh, as it goes, nothing is changed. And uh, this will work in uh, the front end. So we have the English blog post here with the taxonomy, the travel taxonomy that is selected, and the Greek version, which, which has the uh, Greek term uh, selected. And uh, it works like this. Um, so some questions uh, uh, appeared in uh, the PR I have made. Uh, one question was Dean asked if we want to, uh, let's go back to definition. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's good to type. Uh, Dean asked me if we want this a localized uh, checkbox uh, when we have local uh, localized taxonomies. And uh, I think that uh, in case of tags uh, or uh, in, in different cases, we maybe not want uh, to, to show localized version, but we, we need to show uh, the selected taxonomy terms. Uh, just for uh, uh, completeness, uh, the PR is this one. I will share it uh, in the uh, 
uh, chat and uh, again here and the issue the initial issue that uh, we had uh, to solve uh, it's this one I will share it to the chat just to have it and uh, we uh, the localized version is done but we need uh, some way to sync terms of localized taxonomies and uh, extend the culture picture, culture picture to support uh, term aliases. Uh, so uh, there is uh, work to be done here in order this feature to be fully uh, functional. But what, I think, what does it mean? Uh, Add alias to sync terms of localized taxonomies. So uh, what does it mean? Uh, if I go here, code and uh, items. Uh, this English term A should be connected somehow. It's not syncing, it's linking. Ah, it's linking, okay, with Greek term A. So yes, it's uh, linking, yeah. Because uh, we talked about it and I'm like, what is, uh, I missed something. Okay, so it's creating a relationship, linking the terms between languages so that one matches the other. And to do that, we said we might want to add an alias on the terms such that a custom action that you will create could find which one is the other. Um, so that's that's. Yeah, that, that, that's the idea. So if you are in the site in one specific uh, uh, term and you want to change uh, the content, instead of uh, going back to the uh, home page of the other language, to go to exactly same term of on uh, and, and at on the, the same site. time we could not. And I, it's good you mentioned that because I wanted to ask a question during the meeting in case someone has an example, but we could not find. I think we couldn't find any example of an actual case where we would want to be able to do that. What I mean is that, let's say you're on a blog post, an English blog post, and it has categories like travel, okay. Okay, and it has a category travel, or you list all the blog posts of the category travel, so you only get English blog posts. Mm -hmm. When you're on this page listing all the blog posts of the category travel, is there a use case where I would like to be able to go directly from this page to the travel equivalent in Greek? And I'm like, you know, like I visited a site and I went to the blog post and then I clicked on the travel category and I see all the blog posts for travel. It happens there is also Greek blog post and maybe they're also categorized for travel, but in Greek. Yeah. So so and, and I, I thought of a case actually uh, okay. because um, so uh, imagine that we have uh, a event so uh, a site with events and using its language uh, its uh, taxonomy uh, when you select different languages you see different events make sense or Okay, so I. Uh, so you mean that the term is a content item that is more than just a category or tag or whatever? It's yeah. a content item, and then you want to be able to switch to the one that matches in a different language. That okay. In in this case, it's not about tagging, but it's like you organize content item in a tree, and in this case, it makes sense to switch from one content item to the other because they are not just a tag; they are the item you want to see. I see. Um, Maybe I don't know. It's, it's valid, but uh, yeah, because we have uh, discussed about it. And uh, okay, and in this case, using an alias, we will be able to assign the same alias to the two of them, and then create a link when we display one of the items to be able to resolve with a. Yes, yeah. on the server side with a custom controller to be able to resolve what is the equivalent of this one in the other language and it will find it. Yeah, uh, it, it will be a soft link, but uh, it will be a link. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think maybe the idea was to, to take 
the normal part of the the alias and put a dash and then the culture on the end of it. So it, it would be a very soft link. Well, um, or s something similar to that. Uh, I, I would just say it's a string and it needs a, a database query to say what's you no know, in the content item index and in the yes index and in whatever term index to find the matching one. I would just say that I'm going to try to create a direct link. Just they are in a group, like the, they are in the same localization set and they have the same term alias, so they are the same thing in different languages. That's it. Um, yeah, but we can't have multiple, we can't have aliases have to be unique. So they, they uh, and, and term alias, they are not aliases. They uh, are okay. term aliases. There's the term alias. Yeah, that could work. <laughs> Because the, it's like a custom feature, right? I don't know, we have to, to check, yeah, them are, yeah, so, yeah. Or maybe yeah. a custom index, a custom index table just for terms. We already have, and that's why I asked last time, do we already index the terms? So, and we said yes. So maybe we can have a, uh, another field on the terms that is logical identifier in case we want to AKA alias, in case we want to logically link different terms in different categories, different, uh, sorry, taxonomy. Um, okay, and the, the, the third point in your issue was? The third point, uh, I think that it was uh, the culture picker to, uh, culture picker. to support this one. Support term alias, what does it mean? So culture picker. Oh yeah, so that's that's related to the second bullet point to be able yeah. to have a way to switch easily from yeah I, I uh, yeah so that's why I ask for the second point meaning meaning do okay do we do we want to support it in the in the um, content model directly um, probably that would make sense do we want then to provide the ways to switch automatically from one to the other so that the website developer doesn't have to do anything, just use a component, uh, maybe. Uh, should Culture Picker know about taxonomies? I'm not sure. Then should we make a service to say, yeah, Culture Picker? Because maybe we can just have a different Culture Picker called the uh, switch term Culture Picker or something like that. Uh, because there might be some differences. They are not just like any other content item. They are inside the hierarchy. Yeah, yep. we looked at this when we were doing the, the bag term routing and decided probably not um, because it was quite hard and really hard to make the, the, the links. Um, but if we are able to make the links, then maybe it'll become possible or easier. Another option, another option is to make, is to be able to, and we talked about it last week, is to be able to, um, with the tools we already have today, let's see if we can change the term type to add the data we want to add on it, to be able to link different terms. So we don't have any coding to add, just explain how to model that, and also explain how to build a controller to query that data. So in the end, if we could have a, an article or a guide, some documentation to explain to whoever wants to do that, how to do that. And then it will be able to do it. And then we don't have to um, maintain it inside the, inside the core uh, repository because it's an edge case of using localized taxonomies. Probably most, most people won't need that, even the ones relying a lot on taxonomies and localization. So maybe just explain how to write that, how to code it, instead of providing a generic solution that can work in every case and and then we it's a never ending story. So sometimes it's just, see, so. Yeah, I'm makes, sure makes, sense. I, makes sense. If I told you how to do that and how to write the content and everything and you don't have to think about it, you will be like, yeah, good, that works for me. I don't care. <laughs> you don't need to have a, a single button checkbox that will do everything for you because it never works. At this level of specificity, UI doesn't work. You have to, to understand what you're doing and to adapt the solution to your needs. And that's why providing a, a documented solution, even with code and 
model definitions and everything to show what to change in the UI that would be sufficient. I think. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, I think that uh, yeah, it's a, yeah. I, I totally agree that uh, it's a, it's a case that it's not an everyday case. So, and and the localized options make sense because you can't do that without changing the, the driver code, and that's easy to manage, and that that provides most of what people will need. Okay, you have different taxonomies. There are well, you have taxonomy that can be localized. And then when you have a content item using this taxonomy, it can pick the correct one from the correct language of the current content item. So I assume that that solves most of use cases with taxonomy localization. Sing, uh, linking uh, terms across languages, that's an advanced thing. And if we can do it without uh, changing the core code, then I'd, better, I'd rather have an article for that than trying to do that in the core code. For now, at least. So, yeah. Good, good, good. Okay, I will okay. put some comments on the on the PR with the names I I don't like personally, and we'll see what how it goes. I like it. Thank you. And it looks simple. And it works. Pretty full. Yeah, uh, I try to to be you know uh, less to to make less impact that <laughs> in, in order to be yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Cheers,